G'day Barn from Barn's Garage. You know, people still don't fully comprehend the fact that MG has not been a British sports car maker since about 2007. It's now owned by the Chinese automotive giant SIAC and currently specializes in SUVs and even an electrified vehicle soon. Today, I find myself in the MG ZST. The brand is really taking it to the established mob with good pricing, features, looks, and a convincing warranty. It's over to me. Hmm. All very good points. Thank you, Meg. Well, having said all that, how does it drive? How does it drive? Have you been to Beijing? I have. Uh, 2008, I went there for the Olympics. Um, not as an athlete, uh, as part of a media contingent long story. Uh, if you've been there, you might have been to the silk markets. It's where you can get some basically really convincing knockoffs. Chinese, that they can do good knockoffs, there's no doubt about it. And in some instances and in some situations since I've had this car over the last week or so, that's how I felt about it. Doesn't mean to say that it's bad, but you do need to remember I've driven all of the opposition over several years and watched all these cars evolve into the cars that become today. So we're up against the Mitsubishi ASX, Mazda CX-3, Kia Seltos, all great cars, great cars. When I hop in a car like this, it's immediately apparent to me, particularly on this pretty ordinary road I'm on now, that it does lack a little bit of finesse and the finer things in life. It doesn't feel inherently solid. There's just a little bit of tinniness that I don't like. The steering is very light, very little feedback. The handling is okay, uh, it's comfortable. See, I mean, just going through that corner there at 30, it, it didn't really feel overly sure about itself but having said that we are talking about a vehicle as i discussed earlier just over thirty-one thousand dollars is offering a whole suite of features it's also got that long warranty apple carplay android auto huge 10.1 inch screen mg autopilot all these systems are quite commonplace in uh, the modern car but you pay a bit more. So, it's one for the bargain hunters, I think. It looks good because they've managed to incorporate what feels like a bit of Mazda, a bit of Hyundai, and some other vehicles out there to give it that typical, I'm a compact SUV look. It's got reasonable up and go. It's only 115 kilowatts, keep that in mind. The six speed auto takes a little while to kick in at about four and a half thousand revs there as we scoot to 80. But yeah, overall, I mean, it's a good effort. They have come a long way. This is a perfectly acceptable car, not one that I would recommend, certainly not one I'd buy. But hey, I'm sitting in a well equipped, comfortable Chinese made MG. You know, it'd be pretty easy for me to just bash this car up, you know, uh, because it's made in China and um, up my early comments about it being a knockoff and all that sort of thing. But, you know, it, it uh, it's a bit better than that. It's only got a four-star handcuff safety rating, which I think you should take into consideration. But people are buying and good for them. I, uh, I wish them all the best. I can't tell you anything about the longevity of this car. How could I? I've got no idea. I've only been driving it for a week and a half. Even just now, there's just too much noise coming into the cabin for my liking. Okay, so let's give it a score. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up, great price. Great technology. Looks very important. Cons. Borders on feeling cheap. People still are suspicious of the brand itself. And long-term satisfaction, we just don't know that yet. 
So I think until MG in general get a few more miles under their belt in Australian conditions, it will be like that for a while when it comes to people like me offering their opinion. But uh, yeah, that's it. So let's give it a score. Taking into account everything I've said, I think it's a 69 out of 100 at this stage. That's the MG ZST. I'm Chris Bowen. Normal programming will resume right after this video. <laughs> See what I mean? I'm Chris Bowen. Normal programming will resume right after this. Until next time, good luck and goodbye. <laughs> Me.